Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and I'm going to do a quick video about preparing for fasting. Things that you need to do before you go on a fast that will prepare you for your fast. Very important things and so the Lord has given me a few things to share with you in this video. Okay you guys, I don't know if you saw my other video on fasting but I will share, post the link right here so you can check it out. But the Lord actually gave me a revelation and uh, explained to me exactly what fasting was and what happens when we fast. And um, the Lord actually shared with me through scripture in the Bible when um, uh, they had came to Jesus and asked to Jesus why his disciples wasn't fasting. And the Lord Jesus said that, um, you know, when the bridegroom is with, uh, with you know, with the bride uh, chamber, that there's no real, there's no reason to fast. But whenever the bridegroom is gone, then they fast. And so uh, what the Lord was sharing with me, we fast for God to come and be with us, to fill us up, to be filled with God's presence. So when Jesus was with them, he was already with them. There was no need to fast. But he said, whenever he leave, he's not with them anymore. Then they will fast. Okay, so the Lord gave me um, that cool revelation about fasting and what actually happens when we fast. What happens, we clean all the, you know, the gross, stinky stuff out of our bodies, purify our bodies, cleanse our bodies, so our Lord, which is holy and pure, can come and fill us up, okay? And so, uh, you can check out that video. I kind of go into a little bit more details on how uh, the Lord allowed me to experience that and what He said. So today we're going to talk about uh, a few things that you should do before you fast. The first thing you definitely need to do is seek the Lord, get before the Lord, and see what kind of fast He wants you to do. Uh, there's different types of fast. You have the complete fast, which the complete fast is no food, no water. And then you have just the water fast. And then um, you have a fast that's like just where you're just doing vegetables and you're not doing anything real heavy. Anything that's going to leave a, a lot of, uh, you know, stuff matter inside of your intestines and colon. You're not eating anything like that. Um, so you have different types of fasts. And then, so first you need to seek the Lord and see what kind of fast He chooses for you to actually go on with Him. What, you know, what He feels like you need to do. Um, something that's acceptable to Him. Okay? And then I'll share with you what the Lord actually said uh, uh, three things that's really good for you to do before you fast. The first thing the Lord said to do is drink plenty of water. And this is what he said. He said to drink more than a gallon in one day. So if you can get uh, more than a gallon and try to drink that whole thing, you know, in one day, that is, that's something that's going to help prepare, flush out your system, uh, clean you out really, really good, and get you prepared for your fast. The second thing that the Lord uh, said that laxatives, laxatives uh, flush out your body. And, and so this is what the Lord said, I want them to use a laxative to flush their bodies out. Okay, and the Lord told me this, like if you check out the first video, that's something that uh, he actually gave me a tip because he said, demonic spirits thrive in feces, like the stuff that's inside of our intestines, the colon and all that nasty stuff you know, uh, that comes out of us. Demonic spirits thrive in nastiness. And so, um, laxative will help get most of that stuff out as much as possible before you go on your fast. Uh, a laxative will clean your body out um, and get it as clean uh, as possible um, when you're doing this fast for the Lord. And so, this is what the Lord said. He wants us to use a laxative to get a lot of the stuff out that we eat and, you know, stuff that's still in there that, um, you know, actually stays in there for a while, okay? And then, then the Lord actually gave me some things that He actually approves of uh, that's like natural, natural laxatives that you can actually do instead of buying the hardcore laxatives that may be harsh, you know, on your body. Well, here is a list of natural laxatives that the Lord actually gave me that we can actually use instead of using, you know, this the stuff that's in the store that's kind of harsh on our bodies it may kind of hurt us. Um, here is a list of natural things that the Lord actually approves of um, and gave me this list. So the first thing the Lord actually told me was oranges. Oranges is like a natural laxative. 
So that's something that you can um, plan to eat before your fast. Then you have coffee. Coffee is good. It will clean. I mean, you know, coffee does work on me. I mean, it flushes me totally out. Um, some people milk, um, you know, different things. But coffee is on the list that the Lord approves of. Prunes, figs, olive oil, aloe vera, and water. That is the list that the Lord actually, uh, he approves of these things on the list that we can naturally uh, do before our fast to flush out our system, um, to get it, you know, clean as possible. Okay, and then the next thing the Lord said before uh, we go into a fast, make sure you rest because when you're resting, your body basically gets a break to try to cleanse itself, you know, to renew itself. Because when we're going and going and going, our body has to, you know, it doesn't get a break to try to, you know, flush stuff out. It's going, it's working. So whenever you rest, um, as much rest if you, that you can get, if you can lay down for, you know, uh, a long period of time and really let your body rest and flush stuff out, that is great uh, to do before your fast, okay? Okay, so if you guys want to read about, um, about fasting, Start and read uh, in Matthew 9, 14, uh, and read that down. Then Mark chapter 2, 18, read that down in Luke 5, 30, uh, verse 33, and read that. Isaiah 58 and 3, that basically talks about um, fasting and God choosing to fast because uh, the children of Israel during this time they were kind of fasting for whatever reason they were fasting for but the Lord down here in Isaiah 58 verse 6 he talks about he talks about what fasting is really for he says it's not this the fast that I have chosen now when you fast you do a fast for the Lord now this is the type of fast that he chooses this is what fasting is about to loose the bands of wickedness that's like if in, you know if the enemy is attacking you um, if you have sickness in your body um, you know if you have demonic spirits inside of you and you want to get them out this is what fasting is about uh, to loose the bands of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke that's the question that's what the Lord is saying about fasting so when you fast you know, this is what's going to happen. These type of things is going to happen. So if you're struggling with, you know, anything like that, um, oppression, you know, attacks, stuff like that from the enemy, heavy burdens, um, you know, fasting is going to relieve you of that. And then you go down in Matthew 17, 14, Jesus is actually, um, well, his disciples tried to cast out a demonic spirit, but because they wasn't fasting and praying, they wasn't on a fast, uh, they wasn't able to get these demonic spirits out. And the person, you know, that had the demonic spirits, you know, they wasn't fasting or praying, so they wasn't able to get it out either. So the Lord Jesus, he was the only one that was, you know, at the place. Uh, he probably had, he probably was fasting and praying right at this time, and he was the one that was able to get these out. But um, it talks about being able to cast out demonic spirits and bring healing to a person, uh, you know, just with the fasting being added to prayer, okay? And like I said, the Lord said that, Fasting cleanses your body out. It flushes your body out so you can be filled up with His presence, His power, His Spirit. So that's why you can go out and do certain things because your body is totally clean out from all demonic spirits that's inside the, you know, the, the nasty part. And God has totally filled you up. Okay? Alright, so I hope you guys uh, write that down. Those are things that you can do before your fast to get prepared and to have everything clean so that whenever you do go in that fast, you will feel God's presence intensely and God will be able to totally uh, fill you up and consume you on that fast. So, all right, you guys, have a great day.